Well, well, hey everyone, and welcome back to Cowboy Survival. You know, if you're out hiking, you're out camping, and it starts to rain, uh, nothing like a good poncho to help you get through it. Well, we're going to take a look today at the Act Fire Poncho. Got this off of Amazon. Uh, it says it's GI Spec um, Military. I don't know what that means, but we're going to take it out of the pouch. We're going to take a look at it, and we're going to see if this poncho is really a good poncho for, to use, both for camping and also would it be good for a shelter. So if you like this video today, please click the subscribe button below and hang on, we're gonna get into this thing. Anyway, here we are with the Actfire Poncho. It comes in this nice uh, camo poncho. I got the camo one, you can get other ones. I got the camo and it comes in this, this nice bag with a drawstring on it um, and you take this thing out. And I haven't looked at this yet, so I'm discovering this just as you are. Um, so let's take a look at this thing. So as you unfold it, it's got the nice camo look to it. Um, it's got, each of the corners has got a string. Actually, it's got, it looks like one, two, three, uh, four, about, about one, let's see, about six ties already built into this thing um, for you to use if you're gonna tie this thing down for a, for, for a tarp. So, so they've designed this so that it can be used as a shelter. And it's got fairly, a fair number of grommets here. So let's take a look at this thing. Here's your top. Um, here's the top hood. Uh, it goes out here. You've got the uh, grommet here. You've got uh, more grommets down here. So you got each, well, these are, are snaps here. So let's see what we do when we snap this. It's kind of weird the way that looks. So we're going to snap this in. Um, that snaps in. Let's see, you got one, two, let's see. So there's four snaps down each side. Uh, and then you've got ties down here, both up at the shoulder and here at the um, bottom, bottom corner. And each one of these corners has got a tie with it, so that's nice. Um, uh, the other side is going to be the same way. There are no, let's see, there are no grommets along the bottom. Um, so then you get, uh, I go down the other side and we'll snap these together. And again, it's got ties down here at the bottom. So you have ties at the shoulder and down at the bottom six total ties already attached to this thing for you to use. So I really like that. Um, uh, this thing is going to be, doesn't have dedicated arm sleeves, so it's not like you're going to be able to tighten it around your hands or anything, but I wouldn't necessarily expect that on a lot of ponchos. It feels uh, fairly good material. It's, it's lightweight, very lightweight. It's not a thick material at all. Um, and uh, so let's put this thing on. It's got drawstring at the hood. Um, so let's put this thing on. I'm going to actually put it on over my, my hat. Now let's see how that works if you leave your hat on while you put this thing on. So there's my hood. I'm going to put one arm through here. I'm going to bring my other arm through here. If I can make sure I get the right place. That looks like the right place. And we'll bring this up over my head. So it doesn't really work with the hat on. So we'll take the hat off, put the hat over here. Now we'll put it on. Whoop. What have I done here? I got it inside out, so that didn't work. Oh, I got it on backwards, that's the problem. Okay, so let's try this again. <laughs> so we're gonna try this again. Uh, we'll play this. That's a blooper, right? That goes in a blooper reel, I guess. Uh, so let's do this again. Um, we'll do it here. We'll bring it over my head. Oh, and there I am. Okay. So it fits very well. Comes in. I'm I'm five foot nine. Um, so if you were much taller than me, this would not cover your your arms very well. This doesn't cover my arms uh, very well. It's like a, almost a three quarter length sleeve on it. Uh, so my hands are going to get wet unless I pull them inside this thing. Uh, so there you go, the Actfire Poncho. Now, uh, the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to go out and we're going to walk in the rain a little bit with this thing and see how it does. 
Well, as you can see, it's coming down pretty good out here today. This is a good time to test this poncho. Okay, it's raining pretty doggone good, as you can see. I feel pretty good about this thing. I'm, I feel very dry in it. Um, now, again, if you lift your sleeves, they're going to get wet. Um, uh, it's, it's only a three-quarter length sleeve poncho, uh, so it's not going to cover your arm straight, and you can't wrap it around your arm really well to close it. So my hands are getting wet, but the rest of me feels really good, feels really dry. Um, as you can see, it's covered me very, very well. Um, I think I've got enough room I can wear a backpack underneath this if I needed to. Um, so I kind of like it. I think it's a good poncho. It, it feels like it'd be great. I think it's owed to comfort the thighs, so we can definitely use it as a shelter um, if we needed to. Put up a ridge line, attach this thing to the, to the shelter. We've got the, the ties to do that with. So I think that all in all, this would be a great poncho to use for a shelter. Okay, so what we're going to do is take this Act Fire poncho, and we're going to look at a couple of ways you can set this thing up as a tarp. Now, I looked at some ways, I've tried some ways. One that, that we sell, sort of call a, a diamond shape or, or a plow point doesn't work really, really well. Um, because this is not square. If this was square, it would be better. This is 90 inches by about 60 inches, so it's kind of odd shaped. So we'll, anything we do, we're going to try to keep it symmetrical on either side of the ridge line. I've already got my ridge line up here. I've got it set pretty low because this thing is going to be, uh, as I said, it's going to be 45 inches per side. So if you, when you do the ground, if you do it too high, the thing's going to be very straight up and down. And you're not going to have any space in there. So when I lowered my ridge line down to about three feet, maybe. Um, and so I've got some pegs that we're going to use. Uh, I also have uh, that I keep with me is some, an extra thing, a ridge line, and I'm going to show you why I use that, or, or not ridge line, but uh, paracord. And now I'm going to take my, my poncho out of the bag. Now, uh, this poncho, what I like to do is one of the first things you want to do with this is you want to take your, uh, find your um, uh, hood and you're going to want to tie this hood up. So let me get a little closer so you can see this. So the way you're going to do this, first thing you're going to do is tighten this thing up um, as much as you can. Then you're going to take it and fold it over. Now the opening is here, is on this front. So you want to fold it up, sort of twist it, and then fold it down in front of where that is. And I'm going to take one of these strings and just wrap it around. You can see I'm wrapping that around there. And then I will just tuck it up under. Um, that way, uh, I can uh, get it out pretty easily if I need to. So that's sort of tied off, and, and that's going to that's gonna hold even in the rain. And it's going to keep that from leaking into the, uh, the tarp itself, or into the shelter. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this. Now, this thing has uh, ties on each shoulder, and that's going to be the best way to do this, um, uh, to do it this way. Uh, as my tarp and with my ridge line. Now I'm not going to throw it over the ridge line. I don't like throwing things over a ridge line because I'm afraid what it will do is it, the water will run down the ridge line and leak into the uh, shelter. So instead, what we're going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to get. I'm, let me go under my ridge line here. And, and so the first thing I'm going to do is take one of my prusik loops. It's on my pre-made ridge line, and I've got a video on how to do these uh, prusik loops. I'm going to take. I've already tied a little overhand loop in this, and I'm going to get out of my pocket a little piece of wood that I found on the ground that I'm going to use as a toggle. So I'll pass this through my uh, loop, and put it on my ridge line, and I'm going to leave it right there. Now I'm going to go down to the other shoulder, and I'm going to do the same thing. I've got another prusik loop here. You can see that. Uh, so I'm going to take this, and I'm going to pass it through, and I'm going to put another toggle into this. Now, I'm going to go back down so that we can do this thing uh, in the camera. Normally, what I might do is put this thing more in the middle of the ridge line. Uh, that way, I'd have plenty of space to make a fire out front and I wouldn't be right under the tree. Uh, but for the purpose of this video, we'll just put it out here. When I slide my prusik loop out, I can tighten that up. Now, if I need to, I can take another prusik loop and I can run this prusik loop here and run it on this. But I'm not going to need to do that, I don't think, today. But if we do, we can. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get out a couple pegs. We're going to need four. I'm going to get four pegs. I'm going to use my uh, trusty old Boy Scout hatchet. And what we're going to do is we're going to peg out the corners 
of this shelter. So uh, I get four, four pegs. Let's see, there we go. And remember, each one of these corners has a tie on it um, so that I can use, or I can just use the grommet. So in this case, I'm going to use the tie because the grommet really isn't big enough for these coffin uh, uh, stakes. So I'm going to have to tie a little overhand loop in this thing so that I can... Do this, and so I'll just take this, and I'm going to whoops. I'm going to take this, and I'll just stake out the first corner, and I'm going to stake out the front first, and then do the back. So I'll just put that in. That, actually, the ground is really soft because it's been raining, so that's not a problem. I'm going to come across here to the front, and I'm going to do the same thing. This is just a little A-frame kind of shelter. Uh, nothing fancy about it. So again, I've already got a knot tied here, so all I have to do is take this bring it out and stretch that. Now I can do the same thing to the back. <clears throat> and then we'll take a look at how, how big this shelter is on the inside. So I'll take this corner and we'll tie a little knot in it. You know, when I filmed the first part of this video, it was raining cats and dogs out here. I'm glad it's not raining now. That'll be a real pain in the neck. So I'll take this one, we'll take this one and peg it out. This ground's not as soft as it's in the front end. And I'll go peg, peg out this other corner. Now again, the issue here is that this is not a lot of square footage. As I said, it's gonna be, uh, it's about 60 inches from front to back and it's gonna be about 45 inches per side. Uh, so hanging down over the ridge line or under the ridge line as it were. So there's my, my um, shelter. And if I wanted to, I could take this and I could pull it up and I could tie that off on my pressure glue, but I'm not gonna do that for this purpose. So I can actually stretch this out a little bit more. So it makes me a little bit more of a shelter. So that's what your shelter looks like. Now let's take a picture and see what it looks like on the inside. So you can see it does provide some shelter. I'm gonna crawl in it so you can see sort of the relative size of this thing compared to me. Um, uh, so I would crawl in here like this. I could bring my backpack in with me. I could crawl in and I would have quite a bit of space under here that I could rest. Um, it's not real high, uh, but I'm looking, for, I'm looking for somewhere I can rest out of the elements, out of the rain, out of the snow. Um, I would want this uh, upwind, so the wind is blowing this way and is blowing the, uh, the rain hitting this side of it uh, and the rain running downhill this way. Uh, I would probably want to put some kind of a ground cover under here because as the water runs, this ground may already be wet if it's already raining. And in addition, I wouldn't want bugs and all to get to me. So I might take out my big contractor garbage bag out of my backpack, lay that on the ground under here, and that would keep me dry. Um, this is going to keep you fairly um, uh, uh, safe and fairly warm. The heat from your body is going to get caught under here and it's going to keep you fairly warm under here, a lot warmer than being out in the elements. So this is an idea of one way you can use this shelter. I'm going to show you another way uh, right now. So in this configuration, you see I've got the back end down on the ground and the front end up on my ridge line. Now what I'm going to do, this is a case where you would probably want to tie up the center. So I'm going to show you how we would do that. So if you've got enough loop on your, uh, where you tied your hood, what you can do is you can lift this up and tie it. But I don't have enough loop there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my line. Remember I told you I had, I had some extra uh, paracord in my pocket. So I'm going to simply first take this and tie this around this loop. I'll just make a nice little knot there. Then what I will do is I'll bring this up. I'll tie a loop in it right about here. And I'm going to actually use just another tent peg as my uh, toggle here. I'll pass my presser loop through there. I'll tighten that down. I got to tighten. Now what I'll do, I'll take this and tighten it out. 
what that does, that lifts that up significantly. So now let's go see what it looks like in the inside when I do this kind of uh, a shelter. So the difference is that now I don't have wind coming in from the far end. Okay, I've only got wind or only open on one side. This is going to keep me warmer on cooler nights. So all I have to do is crawl in here. And I could stretch out from corner to corner and be able to sleep underneath this thing for the night. And so I don't have any warm air coming in from the, or cold air coming in from the back end. I only have air. So this is better for a cooler night. The other one that's more open would be better for a, uh, for a really warm night or a really cool night. So this is more of a lean-to configuration. Uh, and it works fairly well. Um, I found me a couple of sticks here. Now you might want to tie those off and tighten those with some guy lines, but you, I just drove those in the ground because the ground's really soft. I've got a lot more space under there uh, to do things with, as you see, and let me get under here and you can see. Um, I'm not as constrained or constricted, I think, as I was in the earlier version. I can sit up better because it feels higher. Um, I could put a little fire, if this thing was up, um, I could, and I could tighten this up, I would have, I think, a much better um, uh, fire out here in front of me. I've got plenty of space to put my gear. So I kind of like this configuration best. Well, that's a look at the ACT Fire Poncho. Uh, we looked at how it works in the rain, and we also looked at several ways that you can set it up as an emergency shelter. Hopefully that was helpful. Remember what we always say here on the channel. Stay strong, stay prepared, have a blessed day, and we'll see you real soon on Cowboy Survival.